Hello, son of gold and my brother. This is your awakening. And today's idea is so uh, really important as everything we've said, everything is needed. You, you need to become aware of all these aspects of every teaching that we say from now on so you can really um, free your mind, save yourself, salvation. You know, so you can be, so you can return to the Father, so you can accept the Holy Spirit, so you can recognize your Redeemer that habiteth within your mind, in the heaven of your holy mind, and that's where He sends the Holy Spirit from. And here we are. Today's idea is let me recognize the problem, so it can be solved. And uh, it's it's a very, it's actually a very important realization. So. A problem cannot be solved if you do not know what it is. Okay, for example, you have guilt, you have anxiety, you have depression, you make your death, you are, you, you are trapped here in time, you are bound by this body, by the limitations of this body, which is outside you. What is going on? What is the problem? You can't see the problem. That's the problem. Even if it is really solved, if it, if it, even if it is really solved already, you'd still have the problem. Because you will not recognize that it has been solved. And whatever the mind believes, it makes. Your mind can either create reality or make illusions. Everything you see in the time space is an illusion. It's not reality. This is the situation of the world, the problem of separation. That's the root cause of, um, of all suffering. That's the root cause of uh, that you die. The separation. Separation is sickness. And that is really the only problem here. And this problem has already been solved. Yet the solution is not recognized because the problem is not recognized. So your resurrection has already happened. All healing lies in your mind. It's through the atonement of Christ, through the Holy Spirit, which is the mechanism of miracles. And uh, all the power of God supports this healing. So um, you already have all the solutions inside your mind. Healing is coming through you. It is for you and for everyone else here, for every sleeping son of God, for every mind that is trapped. And um, um, you have to realize that uh, the answer lies exactly where the problem is. You, 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 seek, you, you, you seek answers in the symptoms, but that's not healing. That's not healing. It's irrelevant to heal symptoms. You have to heal the root cause. And the root cause is separation. The root cause is guilt. So, uh, you, you have to realize that everything is already inside you. When you play yourself, when you realize that you are that presence, that awareness, the noticer behind the thing in mind, that part of you that didn't change at all since the moment of your birth, when you realize that, very good, that's you and nothing else in there is you. The rest is your dream, your thoughts, your emotions, space and time. Space and time, thoughts and emotions are your dream. Those are not your thoughts, those are not your emotions and as long as you invest in that insanity, you lose the awareness of the real world, because you, you cannot invest in both worlds. You cannot invest in both worlds. And uh, you, oh, you have to start detaching and connecting with yourself because that's what you are. And of course, that's very obscured. Your mind is very, it's, it's very limited and trapped and obscured by all this darkness. But th that is going to begin to open up like a lotus. Okay, so everyone in this world seems to have his own special problems. Yet, they are all the same, and must be recognized as one. If one solution that solves them, that solves them all, is to be accepted. Who can see that the problem has been solved if he thinks the problem is something else? Even if he's given the answer, he cannot see its relevance. That is the world of illusions that you live. You already have all the answers to your problems, but you don't see the problem. 
That is the position in which you find yourself now. You hear the answer, but you are still uncertain about what the problem is. A long series of different problems seem to comfort you. When you settle one, two more arise, or, or five more. They, they seem to be no end to them. And there is no time when you completely feel free of problems and total in peace, but your natural state when you are free, you are 24 in happiness, joy, love, peace of God, love of God, you are in the fullness of life, there are no problems because problems are illusions, they are being made by the person of your mind which is your ego, and you have to break free from every, from every layer of that illusion, because with the presence of your mind and every problem that you actually perceive now, you make it, that's the truth, that's the truth, and actually you have the solution, if you see the problem, you don't realize because your mind is imprisoned by the ego, you see, you have been deceived, my friend. You have been deceived, brother. I'm you. Just saying with you how to free your mind. That's the only thing that matters here. Salvation. To transcend this world, to, to, to reach to the eternal. Through the miracles of the Holy Spirit, through the atonement of Christ. By, by going together to the prime creator and he's bridging the last gap and you are back to the eternal you made it brother you made it that's why we are here to save you so the, the temptation to regard the problems as many is the temptation to keep the problem the problem of separation unresolved and that is the root cause and uh, of course no one could solve all the problems of the world they appear to be so many in so many level varying so much and uh, some appear unexpectedly, others, uh, um, others you deny them, they appear again. And all this complexity is a desperate, is a desperate attempt not to recognize the problem. It's a desperate attempt not to recognize the problem. It, that's, that, that is the deception of the ego. And... Uh, you have to recognize that your own problem is separation, no matter what form it takes, all forms are the same. And if you could recognize that, you would accept the answer because you could see its relevance. The changing forms are just illusions. And you have the means, okay? And uh, perceiving the underlying constancy in all the problems that seem to confront you, you would understand that you have the means to solve them all, but you are being deceived by the form. And, and you would use the means because you could recognize the problem. One problem, one solution. Try to free your mind, practice stillness, awareness, awareness of presence. Try to free your mind from all the complexity, from, from all the different kinds of problems. Silence your mind, practice presence, stillness. Realize that you have one problem, it's separation. You already have the solution. Ascend with the help of the Holy Spirit, through the teachings of the Holy Spirit. Wait for the answer. Ask. Ask with your true self and you'll be answered. Ask for the solution and you will be answered in your mind. This exercise will be successful when you do not define with any problem. Try to clear your mind. And of course, perhaps you will not succeed in letting all your conceived notions go, but that is not necessary. All that is necessary is to entertain some doubt 
about the reality of your version of what your problems are. Question them. They are not real. You are trying to recognize that we have been given the answer. By recognizing the problem. So that the problem and the answer can be brought together. Now they are separated. You are doing everything to remove healing from the problem right now. That's the prison of the ego. Be not deceived by the form of the problems. Okay. Let me recognize whenever a complexity of form of problems arise, whenever a problem arise, a temptation of problem, tell yourself, let me recognize this problem so it can be solved. Let's go. Peace.